About 10 minutes later, the repairman finally returned. Hey Cloud. To tell you the truth, I was planning on approaching him first. But I never got the opportunity to do so. Is he busy? Because the moment he saw me, he threw away everything in his hands and charged towards me like a madman. <laughs> then he gripped both of my hands tightly. Uh... Too close! Uh, please, let me have Lucy! Uh... What kind of screwed up situation is this? He looks as if he's asking his girlfriend's father to let him marry her. <laughs> I immediately announced my decision. No, I will not let you marry her. Eh? What are you on about? You high or something. <laughs> That's my line. What do you think you're doing? The owner takes some time to collect himself. Yeah, please, take a step back. Please. Ahem. <laughs> Perhaps that wasn't the best way to put it. No, it wasn't. Kid? Would you ever consider selling me that android? This was completely unexpected. You want me to sell her? Yeah, I can give you this much. He takes out his calculator and shows me the figures. It's probably a lot. My mind goes down for five seconds. Five. Not three. Are you serious? Of course! What do you think? Not a bad deal for a student, right? Even, not even adults can easily find this kind of money, you know? Looking at the state of this old building, I wonder if he can really afford to spend that much. Well, we're talking about pairs here for robots. He's overexerting, overexerting himself for sure. I stare at Lucy in silence. Aw, she's worried! She seems to be frozen in place. She probably wasn't expecting this to happen. She returns a pain sober look. I could almost picture a miserable kidnapped slave about to be shipped out to sea. Come on now, that's a little rude, don't you think? He's not about to eat you alive or something or anything. Yeah, but you rescued her. I turn back to face the repairman. You would pay this much? Do you really think Lucy is worth that kind of money? Of course! He yells in excitement. That scared me. <laughs> it felt like my eardrums were about to pop. Listen carefully. Any decently priced robot model comes with an AI or a module that allows them to mimic human emotions. You know this much, right? Yes, somewhat. Well, creating such a module is an incredibly complex process. Even then, do you know how well they perform? Hmm. To compare them to a real person, they still seem a long ways off. Exactly. No matter how much effort we put into making these modules, they can only copy humans in the, bo in the most basic sense. It's not yet possible for them to feel or to think or to express emotions on their own. Ah, uh, I think I'm beginning to see the picture here. Looking back at Lucy, I start to put together what he's trying to tell me. Oh, you're a sharp kid, aren't you? They teach kids pretty well these days. Got you. You sound like an old man, but look at you. So what do you think I'm trying to say? Oh wait, there's a choice. Lucy is actually a person disguised as a robot, you wish. Lucy is actually a princess under a spell. Only in your dreams. And then the Walmart robot, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll just go with this. Basically, you're telling me that Lucy is an exceptionally intelligent robot that is capable of processing natural human emotions. Correct? Oof. That's a long say. Ugh, water. Honestly, I was quite surprised about that as well. I've never seen such a robot that could illuminate a real person so well. Even the new models nowadays reveal their flaws after a minute long conversation. That was definitely more than a minute long. 
but I couldn't sense anything particularly out of place while chatting with Lucy. God, even if it was a minute, she showed too much within half of that time. 10 seconds, even. If it felt just like talking to a world, a world, real person. Yep. To put it simply, this is a person made out of metal, a human robot, an Iron Man <laughs> might made made it. A revolution in the robotics industry. The guy who the guy who created Lucy must be a true genius. Hmm. That aside, good thing he caught himself before calling Lucy a certain power armor wearing superhero. Nobody likes uh, patent infringement lawsuits. Anyway, if she was such a spectacular robot, uh, would she really be thrown away like that? Yeah. Is, for, is it for someone's sake? <laughs> oh, I actually found something weird. There was some sort of built-in protection feature that was stopping the robot from working properly. A protection feature. I vaguely remember what that was. The useless junk version of Lucy might have said something about it. Whatever it was, it seems she she seems to be doing fine now. And you removed it? Yeah, it wasn't too difficult, since it was just one of those you put on display modules. Models. Models. I'm just curious as to why they would bother doing such a thing before throwing it away. <clears throat> he appears to be lost in thought. Hmm. <clears throat> It might mean that the inventor wanted to keep this new technology sealed away from humanity. If not, then maybe... What if there was a serious bug? That's what I thought too, so I ran some tests but found nothing. It's safe to say that she won't be harming anyone. Why would she ever want to harm people with that personality? Yeah. She won't be posing any threat to people at the very least, but... Eh, I could be wrong. I'm just saying that she probably obeys the three laws of robotics. Ah. The three laws of robotics. One. Not saying it. Two. And three. Those three laws. These laws allow us humans to keep the robots in order. They make sure that humans will always have authority over robots. That's a good thing. Major catastrophics can be prevented as long as these conditions are properly met. Yes. I've heard that if a robot ever disobeys one of the laws, it would immediately shut itself down under any circumstances. Oh. So if I tell like Lucy to stay but she doesn't want to stay, she wants to go, would she shut down? I mean, that's a pretty... pretty hefty. Uh, that's why there aren't any glaring flaws to this system. I, I consider that kind of a flaw, though. I shift my focus back to the numbers printed on the calculator. Then I look back at Lucy. She's imitating the gaze of a forlorn puppy, causing a prickling sensation upon my face. After a moment's hesitation, she seemed to have made up her mind about something. She slowly makes her way towards me. Um, Master? Sorry to interrupt, but... Uh, she's trying to counter-bargain him. What's wrong? Lucy just wanted to say that she really is capable of doing anything. That's why Lucy believes she could be a big help to master with any task. Yes, and and she wants to stay with you. 그러니까 저 so. Um, so what? You know. Oh, come on, you can say it. Um, so that's why, um, 
Aw, oh, it looks defeated again. <laughs> I never get tired of seeing Lucy look so depressed. It seems to have unleashed a hidden sadist inside me. Or no, inside me. Within me. She was trying her very best to show off her charm. Essentially, she's a self-advertising product. Yeah. You don't see that every day. But willing to go this far for me, it'll be too cruel to let her go at this point. Yes, I'm not gonna make the deal, so don't worry. Ch as, as I finished my sentence, the looks on their faces were different as night and day. The repairman sulks while Lucy breathes a sign of relief. <laughs> Aww. Poor guy. Anyway, she's good to go now, right? Here's the money. With quivering hands, I take out some bills from my wallet and hand it over. My money. My money? <laughs> the repairman hesitates for a moment but finally takes it with a bitter look. For now, yeah. But be careful not to put any strain on your legs for a while. I kind of noticed that. It's okay to move around the house but she should avoid any ex extended periods of walking. Ah, another pickerback ride, huh? So I need to carry her home on my back again. I guess it can't be helped. She's not too heavy, so I can manage. Well, that's it for today. Thank you. Uh, sulky. His eyes are filled with regret. He really doesn't want to let Lucy go. But I flat out ignore him and prepare to leave. I'll be sure to pay you another visit if something else comes up. Okay, but make sure to treat her well. And don't overwork her too much, alright? See you later too, Lucy. You can come visit anytime. The look on his face while waving goodbye to Lucy was truly a spectacle. This time, he seemed to be the father seeing his daughter leave with another man. <laughs> Guy's completely out of it. I definitely made the right choice by keeping Lucy. Yeah, you did, man. Yeah, you did. Alright, we exit the shop and take a short stroll until we reach the sidewalk. Yay! Alright. I'm gonna save here. Alright, and we'll come back to it later, so have a good day everyone.